Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at my Battle for Neighbourville Festival tier list. Like with all tier lists, I am going to do the standard disclaimer. This tier list is based on my opinions and personal experiences. Nothing is right or wrong, so you might not agree with some of my rankings. I'm a strong believer of respecting other people's opinions, so you are more than welcome to share your thoughts in the comments below. Finally, if you would like to create your own BFN Festival tier list to using my template, the link is in the description. As usual, just before we begin, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, let's start off with the meh category, which I think most people will agree is Garden Party and the fall festival and not only because obviously both of these festivals had no decorations and i much prefer giddy park with the decorations i know it's a bit nostalgic to have it like plain but for me the some of the festival overhauls were so much better than the original but i think the other reason why both of these are in here is because of like what also happened in that month so for example garden party you know i think we were looking forward to it because i know there was um I know there were some leaks, we had some pictures of barbecues and stuff, which probably ended up being for summer nights, but yeah, there was kind of a little bit, you know, we were, we were looking forward, oh, what's it going to be? I don't know what, you know, what's garden party going to consist of, and it was nothing. So, you know, it was a little bit, it was a little bit disappointing. I think at the time, like May, we were going, you know, we were kind of in that middle stage where there's literally been no content, and we were like, oh my god, come on, just give us something, PopCap, please, please don't let this die. But we know what happened, very sadly. Um, so, yeah, so that 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 was partly why I didn't like May, and I think that was probably one of the worst prize maps we had. There was nothing, I can't even really remember it, if I'm completely honest. Um, but, yeah, so I, I don't think we had a legendary upgrade, so it was really sort of like, oh, God, this is where the game's going now. So, yeah, that's why I didn't like about Garden Party. And then, similarly, with the Fall Festival, more so than, like, the actual what Giddy Park looked like itself... It's the final festival, you know. We got given the really bad news that there are no longer, we're no longer getting any content updates. Well, apart from the one at the end of September, but yeah, it made me really sad. So yeah, that's why I don't like those festivals. They're the met ones, and I much prefer decorations because it looks so nice. Then we go on to okay, and obviously, like I said, most some of these are based on like the visuals, but kind of what happened at the points in the game, you know. Um, you know, what else happened during that festival time that made them either good or bad. Um, so these ones were just okay. And I think partly the reason was they didn't really do much of a makeover. Um, if we start off with Food Fight, I think because we'd had such uh, a good starting point with uh, Lawn of Doom that just did an incredible job of, you know, really overhauling Giddy Park. And it should have been the best one. You know, it is one of the best ones. That's why it's an amazing. And yeah, it did a complete overhaul. But then... We suddenly got to Food Fight, and I remember doing a video and talking about, like, Scooby, like, they should, they could have done so much more with it in terms of the food, like, you know, and the things we saw around, and it, it was kind of, it was, it was a bit of a step down from, uh, from Lawn of Doom, and yes, I liked some of them, I think this was when prize maps were still um, somewhat to do with the theme, I know they never really did a massive thing, they should have all the prizes should have been related to the theme in my opinion but yeah and we got some really cool like you know i think they did a good job on like the air balloons making them ice creams and things like that but i think it, they were overall i think we were in a good place in terms of prize map rewards because obviously we're still near the start but i think overall just from the visual look of things it was a bit of a step down so that's why that went to where it came there's definitely better ones that I, i've enjoyed a lot more uh, similarly, birthdays, a similar type of thing. It was nice that they did the birthdays festival. I like the fact that, you know, they celebrate, you know, how old PVZ is and stuff. And there was some good, I like the confetti. I think there was loads of confetti and stuff. And But again, these are sort of ones that weren't particularly memorable. Like, they were all right. Like, I wouldn't class them as bad. They did some, they had some nice overalls, but they're not necessarily uh, memorable. Uh, moving on to Valand Range, which I think is a really funny idea, the whole the whole Valentine's thing, but with zombies. And... But I, I did like in this one that you could, uh, that there was all petals falling from the sky and you could actually shoot the, you could actually shoot the confetti cannon. So I actually like the fact they added some interaction, not just, you know, not just a visual overhaul. They actually made something so you could actually interact with it. And it was just a small thing, but it made it memorable. And I think, you know, again... 
I can't really remember m much about it, and this is this is why they're in okay. You know, if there's the specific things like, oh yeah, that was really good. That's why they've been that's why they've been put higher up. But again, not n nothing too major. Again, we were still in a good phase where the game was getting good. You know, we were getting updates and we were getting at least some new content. I think it, this was kind of around Uzawar time, I think. Um, so yeah, so it was an it was an all right one. And then similarly. For spring inning, I think one of the worst things for this, this is when the whole th um, thing about the prize is not really matching it. There weren't that many Easter ones. And I remember there was a leak for like that Easter chomper, which I think eventually came. Which I think eventually came out. But, you know, it wasn't there. And there we, we, we just saw so many Easter related things that could have been really cool. And also at this stage, this is where like we'd had a couple of festivals where we had some... Um, like community tasks or there were some extra quests you could do but it got to a stage then and they were sort of like well it, it you know that died away they obviously decided that wasn't something they wanted to continue with and yeah so that's why that's gone this is why that's quite down down in this uh down in this tier list and then on to great so uh, both summer days and summer nights were here but i think the main reason why both of these were great is because of the visual overhaul. Not necessarily the things that were in the prize map, because I don't think they were particularly good. But the actual visual overhauls I really enjoyed about this one. So Summer Days, I just think it was great that they completely overhauled the whole sand thing. I think it just... I just love the I love the festivals that really changed how Giddy Park looked, and I think having sand everywhere, like bouncy castles, I just think that was a really really nice overhaul. It's a shame, it's a shame the prize map didn't didn't match up to that, but it was really cool. I really I really enjoyed this one, and I think it's one of my one of my favorite Giddy Parks. But the reason why this isn't higher, yes, I really love the visuals, but the prize map and everything else that was going on at the time, you know. We're, we're, you know this was last month you know nothing was really happening in the game yes we had we had tourist trap come back and things but nothing nothing really major happened similarly with summer night i love the fireworks i think that was great anything that just sort of brightens up that you know it was just nice to just sit there and just watch these really cool fireworks and you know it would just make the sky a bit different and you know how just fireworks are cool that's what that's basically what i'm trying to say fireworks are cool and we got all these um we got all these gestures that were fireworks related, which was cool. Um, I mean, I don't really use gestures myself in the game. But, yeah, it was nice to see how that was tied in. You know, uh, they weren't... I'd have preferred it if there was costumes, you know. Imagine if there was, like, a scientist one and there was just, like, loads of, like, fireworks. You had, like, a, a firework jetpack or something like that. But I think it was nice to actually have some gestures that were tied to it. But I think overall, this is, what, again, one of my... I just really like the fireworks and it, it just makes everything look so pretty and nice. And then the next one that was on to great is Snow Day. And the reason why um, the reason why this is here is because we'd had Feast of Us and then the January fest festival was the first time where we had two festivals that looked very similar. Yes, it was in the daytime and it did have a different feel, but it was the the disappointment with this one was the fact that it was suddenly like oh well this was like it before and you know fair enough um you know we can't expect them to do everything completely new so you know it was a nice thing that they added and of course all of the festivals were based on festivals they already had in pvz anyway um but yeah this was nice it was a nice change because we'd had quite a few dark we'd had quite a few dark maps well we well, we'd had the Feast of Us, and it was just sort of nice to have it light, you know, it was the start of the new year, everything looked up before everything went to hell <laughs> this year. Um, but yeah, there were some good prizes, and again, snow, I'm a big, I love snow, so that, that's what won me over. Okay, finally, moving on to the amazing category, and I think most of these are to do with, yes, the visuals, the visuals were really good, the content we got in the prize maps was good, um... Uh, the point the game was in a good place at the time and as well they was just memorable there were other things added in that really made me made me remember them um so let's go first let's do lawn of doom and i think lawn of doom really was visually impressive i think this really sort of it highlighted how they said they you know they'd kind of redone the festivals from garden warfare 2 and like you know they wanted to add some more things in 
So like having the Lawn of Doom that just really went to town on the on the visuals was was really nice, and the fact that the middle of Giddy Park also had some really really cool things. I don't think there are any um, additional tasks that we've got with this, but of course we'd come out of Founders, which was in the original Giddy Park if you had the Founders edition of the game. Um, and then it suddenly just transformed into Lawn of Doom, night time. It was just really cool. And, you know, Halloween's a really cool time time of year anyway, you know. And I think they really, they really, they really showed us what, you know, what was to come. It was a really, I feel like it was a really good start. We had a great Super Brains, um, a great Super Brains reward at the end of the prize map. You know, there were just loads of things in there. We had ghosts and, uh, yeah, I, I was just really happy. The game was in a great start. It was, you know, this was the... They were like, this is it, this is BFM, we're kicking it off now. And, you know, it was, the, you know, it's all that excitement. You know, there were so many new things. We're still getting used to the characters. And, you know, so I think the game itself was in a really good place, which also helped. But, yeah, the visuals really, really were, worked worked well. And I like there was subtle, there was actually subtle differences between the zombie side and the plant side. Um, so, yeah. Then on to Feast of Earth's Christmas. Everybody loves Christmas. The costume for Engineer was great. It was snowy. There was these big piles of snow. We had presents. Game was in a really good state. Uh, we had some, you know, there was things that there, we were probably getting to the stage where balancing became a bit of a problem. But the overall festival, the Christmas festival, was really cool. And they had that, they made that really awesome trailer with that famous actor's voice that I can't remember his name. Uh, the night before Feast of Feast of Us, Feast of Feast of Feast of Us, um, yeah, and it really again this kind of after the food fight because you know we're like okay maybe they just maybe they just made the the first overhaul really good and then the other ones are going to be more tame but this one came back and again just completely changed the changed the look of it and you could uh, you know the fact that there was these massive snowballs and. Uh, it was just, it's just lovely. Christmas is just lovely and they, uh, they made it, they made it really, they made it really good. And again, you know, these first three months really were when the game was most populated. There was so much to do. I made, made tons of videos on it. It was just a really, really exciting time for me. And then the final one. We finally, we haven't, this hasn't taken 20 minutes this time, guys. Uh, the final one is Look at the Zombie. And we had a combination of really, you know, we had... Wizard coming. Wizard was here. We had the really feels like magic. We had such a we had the really cool trailer come out. It was so super hyped. Wizard was on the way. We're like, yes, oh yeah, new characters. Oh yeah, I can't wait to get loads of new characters. And then we didn't get loads of new characters, Popcat. <laughs> um, so yeah, and not only this, it was it, you know it was a great overhaul. It wasn't like. Uh, you know, the massive one, like, you know, we didn't have, like, the ground texture hadn't changed or anything. But, you know, we'd come back to daytime and we just had this really cool St. Patrick's Day uh, look at the zombie complete overall, which I really liked. And this was the stage when they were still doing, like, these uh, additional quests. So there was the one that you could, uh, an additional activity in the middle of Giddy Park where you could fight the gnome boss. And then once you complete, you know, you could get all your friends in and once... Um, and once you defeated him, not only did you get prize balls, which is a massive incentive, you know, I don't know why they didn't do more of those things like that, but then you got the pot of gold, which was just like this really unique animation. So it was just, it was a reason for everybody to work together, both plants and zombies. So I think it was just, it's just a shame they didn't do more things like that. I really, really enjoyed it and made it so memorable as well. Um, so yeah, I think the game in terms of content, probably one of the best ones in terms of where the game was and it was just a really, again, it, it brought back that excitement because we suddenly had another, another new character like that like we could use and guides and like, oh, wonder what he does, how does this, the potion work and yeah, it was just a really exciting time and they made the door, didn't they? They made the, the glowy door and it was just all that excitement they built up to it and I think it was just executed really well. So, yeah, that is my tier list of the festivals. If you guys are interested in doing your own one, the link is in the description. But, yeah, but uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this tier list in the comments below. But other than that, remember to subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.